Hi everyone, welcome to another Anypoint Code Builder short video. My name is Alex Martinez, I am a developer advocate at MuleSoft, and today we are going to see a preview of the new governance rule sets for API design. Let's get started. All right, so to get started, we have here API governance, and I currently have two different profile names, one for OAS, which is going to apply the rule set for OpenAPI best practices, and the other one is Anypoint, which will apply the rule sets for Anypoint best practices and HTTPS enforcement. So once my OpenAPI specification has been created, I can click here on governance rule sets, and I can click on add rule sets. And after that, I will be able to select any rule set that I want from Exchange. In our case, we are going to select the OpenAPI best practices. So go ahead and search for it. Then once you select it, you can click on add rule sets. Now, once this rule set has been created, you can make this bigger so you can see this better. And you can expand or collapse all of the rule sets from here just to make sure that you can see every single rule that it has to be applied to your project. So let's go ahead and run them all from here. And just like that, it will tell us some warnings of some things that we could be fixing. They're not errors, so we will be compliant. But let's go ahead and fix them. Why not? All right, so this is my new specification. We can run one by one. So for example, the license, we added it, we added the tags, or we can simply just run the whole rule set to make sure that everything is compliant. Now we don't have any more warnings, which means we are ready to deploy or to publish to exchange. So now that we're ready to publish, we can open the command palette and look for exchange. And you will see this option to publish API specification to exchange. So let's select that one, select your business group, your project name, I'm going to leave it like that, like that. the artifact ID, the asset version, notice that this is 100 because it will change eventually. The API version is version one and it will start publishing to exchange. And now we have this new button that says that you can open the API confirmer status on Exchange. So click on it to open this same page or this same asset, but in Exchange. And here we have our ACV governance API published to Exchange. You will notice that this is not yet validated because we added the profiles in API governance to run this with the specific tags. So we need to add a tag here. This will be OAS. And as you can see, we are now conformant and the open API best practices has been applied and we are passing. We have zero violations, zero warnings, and zero info messages. Now let's add a few more rule sets. And now that we have them here, we can run one by one by clicking on these, or we can just run them all. So now we actually got some errors. If we open them and scroll down, where is the error here? You can also check on the governance results right here. So if we open this, you will see that we have an error, a warning, and another error. These two coming from Anypoint best practices and this one coming from HTTP enforcement. So error expected, but got actual. So in this case, we need to have a URL that includes the API and the V1. So right here, we have the server's URL and here we have to add API slash v1 so now in theory this should be fixed so we can run this and this has now gone away and this is passing so we still have one warning for any point best practices and one error for http enforcement if we can see from here we have this warning and this error let's see what happens if we publish it like that so again let's go to publish api specification to exchange and let's leave everything as it was, but notice that now the asset version is 101. So let's add the tag AP. And after some minutes, we can see that our version 101 is not conformant because we sent it with an error. So let's go back to ACV and let's open now the HTTP enforcement. This is asking us to use HTTP in the URL. You can also click on it and it will show you where the problem is. So if we add an S and save it, we can run this and we can now see that this is running correctly. We still have one warning that is okay. It will still be conformant. So let's publish this again to exchange. And now we will notice the asset version is 101, 
which, sorry, was 02, which is what we expected. And after refreshing, we can see that these three have passed. Even though we had one warning, we still pass it. And here you can see the warning. 